Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld. In our last episode, we got two new colonists, Agatha and Ligzel the troll. Um, it was kind of hell bringing Ligzel back to the colony when he was incapacitated thanks to Noreen. But I did get a newfound respect for our staggeringly ugly blood elf. She may be just our hauler, but she is irreplaceable. Our colony almost fell apart without her. But I'm happy to say that we have two new colonists who can help her out with the hauling. Agatha, what are you good at? You're good at construction, that's right. So thank goodness Agatha is going to be replacing Jally. Um, not replacing Jally, but helping Jally with the construction. And I can't forget that she's a night owl, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly set up her uh, settings here. She... Gets a mood loss if awake during the day, 11 to 18. Um, so let me set her to anything for a little bit. And then she's going to sleep from 11 18. Um, this makes it align well to have recreation with everyone else. That way they can maybe make friends. Um, and then she's going to work the rest of the day. And I I think that uh, totals up to the same number of hours as everyone else. And I'm just going to copy over uh, the the basic work um, work schedule for Ligzel here. And Ligzel, how are you doing? Are you going to be on your feet soon? You just have a few bruises and a, and a crack. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, rock cannibalism, when did that happen? Oh my goodness. <laughs> that might have happened on the road. Um, I don't know. I don't want to know what you've been through, Ligzel, you poor thing. Um, but you're going to be helping with animals. We already lost our cougars, but maybe some other battle animals will join randomly. You know, pray to Randy Random that he'll send us more cougars um, and we'll be able to actually tame them this time. Um, he's also very good at social, so he can help us uh, warden and trade and all of that other stuff, but I think we have a diplomat. I think, Jally, were you our diplomat? No. Am I just making this up that we have a diplomat? Master diplomat, Luke. So, Luke, you should be our um, our social person as far as trading is concerned because he has a negotiation ability of plus 30%. I'm not quite sure what social impact plus 40% means. Maybe he's just very charismatic and people, people like talking to Luke, um, despite his bad back. <laughs> I know, I won't shut up about his bad bag. I'm still a little salty about it. Uh, so yeah, so last episode we recru recruited these two people. Um, we got started on Jally's throne room. Um, and we got started on this um, room for nobility. But I think what I'm going to do is make this Jally's room, at least um, once we get the carpeting in, or, or the tiles in rather, uh, we're going to make this Jally's room, just switch the beds and Noreen can have this room or or whatever room, I don't care. And what we're going to do is make another room probably here and it's not going to follow the same blueprint. Instead, this other room is going to just be for our noble guests. So last time we could not accept a quest um, to host a noble woman uh, because we did not have a room that satisfied her requirements. So what I'd like to do is set up a room um, that would do that. Now we don't have any gold for a royal bed so I also would love to either start strip mining or set up my quarry. Where is that under production? Yeah so I have a, a quarry that I can set up. This is a mod um, but I feel like that's a little overpowered when we already have mountains that we can strip mine um so we'll see we'll see what happens for the time being i do want to finish up this bedroom and i do want to finish up jally's throne room um so we'll see we'll see how far we get uh, and maybe we can make a, a a new room just for nobility so that maybe we can start accepting those quests so i just noticed that ligzel put on um a flak uh, flak vest. So I'm going to restrict him or assign him rather to a new outfit. Now, Ligzel, you're an animal person. What else are you going to be doing for us? Social. Uh, so let's see. We have handler and we have, do we have like a social, a social one like warden? We do. For now, I'm going to set you to warden. Maybe and um, did I set up your work? Yeah, I did and I noticed in the last episode that I had this set to two uh, Whoopsie um, But I'll set you up to warden for now because we still have 
Liza in our prison, and then maybe later on I'll just um, edit your your uh, assigned clothes to make it an animal slash slash warden. Make it special for you. Also, due to popular request, I think what I'm going to do is increase our difficulty from medium to rough. Uh, things have been really easy on medium. Uh, last episode, I was mad that our raiders just uh, skipped over our traps here, which they hadn't done. I don't remember them having done, rather, uh, in previous versions of RimWorld, but I guess it's totally fair that they could remember where my traps are. So I'm going to set it up to, to medium. We're going to narrow our um, kill box here with the spike traps. And hopefully uh, it might get a little more difficult. Um, hopefully not too difficult. <laughs> what we really need is more wood. Look, all of our fueled wall lamps are running out of fuel or running out of wood. Now our colony manager here is set to, uh, let's see, yeah, forest any sort of wood that we can get. Liza, are you all right? You're going berserk, why? Tobacco withdrawal, how is your withdrawal? Um, tobacco withdrawal, 61%. Ooh, you also have psychite addiction, you poor thing. Do I, I, I guess we'll see. We'll see if we want to keep you around. Lixal, you want to, you want to capture this guy? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about your life. Um, anyway, the colony manager should be taking care of the lack of wood that we have. But who do we have on plant cutting? We have... Uh, Norman, who's already harvesting and growing, which we just set up a bunch of new growing zones. So he's going to be busy. Um, Luke, you're going to be cooking. You're very busy. And Jolly, you're going to be constructing. You are also very busy. I also have these guys at number one for mining, and we have a lot of things to mine. So Noreen, I'm going to set you to plant cutting. Ligzel, you're a one. That's fine. All I really need right now are is wood. That's that's all I need. So, you know, it doesn't I guess it doesn't terribly matter if you're if you're that bad at it, but it, it won't be the end of the world, I guess. Another thing I want to do that I noticed um, from last time, I still want to finish carpet making, but I don't want to do biofuel refueling anymore. I'm just going to go straight to geothermal power um, because we have how many do we have again? Two. We yeah, we have two geysers, and I think it's I think it's fair to just go straight for that. Um, and then hopefully that will help our power situation. These two wind turbines are not cutting it. But on the bright side, we have our bathroom done for this random room. So let us get some steel plumbing up in here. Oh, all we have to do is, is connect it through there. So that's really nice. Oh, also last episode, we got a piggy. So now we need to find like a bulk trader uh, and get another pig, um, which reminds me, <laughs> I should probably set up some sort of trade beacon. And that is, um, what is that? Is that microelectronics that has the, um, yeah, that has the orbital trade beacon. Ugh, I, oh my gosh. All right, let me redo that. <laughs> so carpet making, yes, carpet making, then geothermal. Because I won't even be able to power the, um, oh, no, it's right here. I won't be able to even power the orbital trade beacon without geothermal power at this point. Uh, so I think this is a really good setup. Now, unfortunately, now Luke is actually researching. That's really cool. I should probably turn him off everything else. Who else is a researcher? Norman can research. I'm just going to put him at a two i'll put them at a one so that if if no one is sitting at this research bench maybe norman can go and take care of that and agatha i'm gonna put you at a one two for the same reasoning you know maybe luke will be off cooking and this and this research bench will be open uh so someone can go and, and research because we really need to get that done um who can uh manage for us agatha what are you doing you're oh you're sleeping because you're a night owl uh, what is Norman doing? I need someone to manage your sewing. That's really important, too. Uh-oh. Um, Noreen, how are you doing? You are eating. Well, when you're done eating, could I get you to manage for us, please? We really need some wood. I know I can manually queue up some wood myself. Um, but it's it's fine if Noreen does it for me. Thanks, girl. You're the best. 
Oh, she's wearing a builder's jacket, I just noticed. I think because it was poor. I think in a previous episode, I was mad that it was a poor builder's jacket. Oh, it's normal. It is a normal. Oh, I was looking at Jolly. I was looking at Jolly. Yeah, it is a poor uh, builder's jacket. I'm curious what her assignment is. She's a hauler, but I guess she's allowed to wear builder's jackets. I'm going to turn this off. I don't think she builds at all. Let's see, Noreen and construction. She actually has a passion in construction. I might put her at a three for these if she's never hauling, which is very unlikely, um, or delivering or cleaning. Well, cleaning's at a three, so we're safe there. Uh, stone cutting then, right? That's going to be pretty important. But, you know, just in case, you know, maybe she can help construct just because she has she has a little fire in, in her for, for, for building, so that's nice. But you don't need to be wearing that builder's jacket. That can go to, who is it, Agatha? Okay, I need throne room. Yep, working on it. Undignified bedroom. It needs to be floored. I am also working on that. And tattered apparel. Ligzel. Ligzel, my man. Do I need to set all of these to... Oh, ugh, I do. Uh, this sucks. All right, so worker, 50%. Um, I'll skip all of this. I'm just going to set everything to 50% here. So as I'm going through this, I notice that even Cook has a builder's jacket. Um, so I'm guessing, and Dr. Scrubs, yeah, and fleece shirts, I'm guessing all of these might just be the same, and we need to go ahead and um, assign these ourselves for our particular colonists, which is great. I love that. Um, so I shouldn't have been so picky with whatever current outfits they're wearing, but what I can do is use these um, for our, our other colonists and whenever I need to micromanage their specific outfits. Um, it's going to be a lot easier. Did I do cook? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to throw that out there in case someone else is using this mod. It's called Outfitted. I've never used it before. Um, I just love that they have a lot of ways that you can um, personalize what they're wearing instead of having to go in and, and, and force wear everything. It's going to help a lot when we have crazy big colonies which i love some people love having small colonies you know less than 10 people <laughs> um and i love i love having like 20 plus if i can at least until my computer decides uh, it's not having it anymore um but you know i like i like having a bunch of colonists with their particular traits and personalities and um yeah anyway i'm gonna finish this up <laughs> All right, we're not gonna get any research done without any power <laughs> because there's no light on in the research room. Well, the crafting room, but by the research bench. So I'm going to sadly cancel carpet making for now and go straight into geothermal power because it's going to take a while. It's 3,200 um, research. And I think, I think it's for the best and hopefully we can get that done. I might have to just turn off some things. Like I'm gonna turn off uh, this refrigerator, this refrigerator, what is it? It's spring. I'm going to turn off all our heaters. I probably could have done that, but, um, as I understand it, the heaters aren't supposed to provide or require too much power when they don't need to be, you know, giving out that much power, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I'm going to turn them off anyway, because things are not looking good power wise. I'm also going to get rid of this cooler uh, because we're not sleeping in this room anymore. I wonder if I should move this cooler over into one of these bedrooms. I definitely should. So I'm going to reinstall this into this room because this room is uh, vented into these two. And then I need to vent into this room. Um, and then I'll probably install another heater cooler in this room so that it can, or this room, whichever one, I'm not sure yet, uh, so that it can vent into uh, the rooms that are eventually going to be built here. I'm also going to uninstall this light because we don't need it in this room anymore and we do not need um, to be fueling that. So I'm going through the weapons tab mod, I think it's called weapon stats. And I'm um, toggling craftable to see what we can make our colonists. I'm probably being a little overzealous here because we still have a lot of things that we need to do and we're running out of power and we're running out of wood, which is which is a big deal. So I, I don't know if I should be worrying about um, what everyone's wearing as far as, you know, 
the, the best that they can wear. But I noticed that I can make a hard hat for our builders, at least two hard hats, that would be nice. Um, and some flak vests would be great for everyone uh, once I start uh, getting everyone's soldier outfits um, prepared. And for our fighting, eventually what I'm going to do, is it under miscellaneous? I installed the, um, maybe security? I have no idea where it is. I'm going to have to find it. Uh, but I, I installed a mod called Armor Racks um, that sets up um, an armor rack <laughs> where you can, you can put your um, your armor on, I guess, and be able to equip out, you know, the builder's jacket for something stronger, like all the dusters that we made. Isn't there an insect chitin duster around here somewhere? There's a side focus vest that Jelly should probably be wearing, but whatever. I'll worry about that later. Um, so eventually everyone's going to be in soldier, but only when there's a raid, for example, when, when something bad is happening and they need to suit up. Um, so in our, in our weapons tab here, I can make a bunch of flak vests. I might queue that up for later. Um, don't we need a smithing table or, or, or some other production table that we don't have? No, we must have because it's craftable. So I'll find that. I'll find that later. Um, and so anyway, I want to make some hard hats for my people. And yeah, we do have an insect chitin duster. Someone's wearing it already. Luke, Luke is wearing it. Good for you, Luke. Um, let's see, what else do we want to make for our people? Not much. I thought I'd just mention this, you know, burlap, or, um, aprons are always nice to wear, but it looks like people are already wearing some aprons, so I'm just gonna queue up some hard hats. Um, I can't remember, I don't think it's at the tailoring bench, I think it's at one of these production tables, so I'm just gonna, uh, Pop a few down and see, <laughs> see which one it is, because uh, I can't, I can't remember for the life of me. So there's, there's a smelter, and then we have some electric things, a loom that's from some mods. We have an oven that we're going to put in our kitchen eventually because we have um, sugar and wheat being built here. <laughs> built. We're having sugar and wheat being grown. Um, it must be the smelter because I don't see that it would be at the tailoring bench, right? Hard hat. Oh, it is at the, it is at the tailoring bench. Okay, ignore me. <laughs> ignore me, you guys. Make two hard hats. Did I never, like, queue up a hard hat? I guess not. I guess I didn't. Alright, so yeah, two hard hats, please. Um, forget about the smelting... We should probably have a smelter. We should probably have a smelter so that we can smelt uh, the slags that might be around here. Are you are you a dead unicorn? You're 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 a dead unicorn. That that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's not like I wanted to tame a unicorn. <laughs> Whatever. What's this? Uh, nightling egg. Oh god. <laughs> if I take these nightling eggs. I wonder if like the, if I if I take them will they be tamed by us when they hatch? Probably not. Probably not. Also that's disgusting. I wonder if I should melee those so they don't hatch into Look at this mess. We've got feralisks, we've got nightlings, we've got a dead unicorn, a dead tortoise. What a mess. What a mess. But we have these chameleon yaks. That's adorable. You want to let's let's go tame some things because now we have a nice animal tamer. Um, so definitely maybe these dire wolves. Let's look on the wildlife tab. So we've got the chameleon yaks. Oh yeah, we have our overgrown colossus that I set to tame. Uh, what else is there? Uh, let's get yeah, let's get these some of these yaks. At least a boy and a girl. So tame, tame, and then maybe another girl tame. Um, grizzly bear. Definitely the dire wolves. Oh no. Are they set to 100%? Let's see here. Um, I'm not quite sure. So wildness is 75%. <gasps> They're a pack animal. That's amazing. Uh, trainability advanced. So I do want these guys. Oh no. And they nuzzle too. That's adorable. <laughs> but it's set to 100%. Maybe that's just for, maybe that's just for hunting. Let's, let's try it. You know what? I, I believe in you, Ligzol. I'm gonna turn everyone else off of handle, though. Okay, safe. We're okay. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? We got some raptors out here. Um, eh, I don't care. I don't care about raptors. But the ground runners, I didn't realize they were here. I put them in my screenshot for the last episode because I thought they were so cute. Oh, uh, but they're all boys. Oh, girl. Girl, boy. Got them. Got them. 
Uh, boom lobes are good because they produce chem fuel, and then I won't need to research the chem fuel unless I, unless I need to for the chem fuel generator. No, I don't. I don't. So let's let's get these um, boom lobes. Oh, they're all girls. Eh, eh, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll just wor I'll worry on my um or rely on my geothermal instead. Feralis, because I don't want nightlings. I don't want even though it's a boy and a girl. That's nice. Aerofleets, I don't want. Roommates, I don't want, and rat, I don't want. So we're gonna try for these ground runners and the dire wolves. What are these ground runners? I don't even know what they do. Okay, that's fair. Their advanced trainability, that's good. They're okay at um, melee deeps. Are they pack animals? No. But that's okay because they're cute, and that's all that matters. Um, ground runners will happily help your colonists mine rocks and minerals. This is amazing. They must be trained in hall. That I could just like set these guys up to strip mine for us. That's so cool. Oh, I love that. Maybe I should tame all of them. <laughs> yeah, let's get all of them. Let's let's do it. Um, okay, so chameleon yaks. Um, I'm assuming they they drop some nice wool or milk or something. I know the new patch made it one or the other, so I guess I'll find out. Um, dire wolves are just gonna be really cool to have, and then ground runners. Please, dire wolves, do not attack Ligzol. He he is of the horde, and dire wolf, you are also of the horde. You guys are buddies. This is not a WoW series. It just happens to have some WoW elements to it. Ambrosia addicted animals. A large ambrosia sprout happened nearby. You heard that these large sprouts might be defended by a large group of animals who will defend the sprout against intruders. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's it's weird that it's not set as like an actual quest. Um, because some things are quests, but then some things are just events, which is fine. Um, you can have the ambrosia. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you do you. You have fun with it. Noreen, you're, you're idle. That's odd. Uh, there, I allowed three things across the map so you can haul to your heart's desire. Shouldn't you be, like, stone cutting? There's probably so much you can be doing. There's fine sandstone tile. How much sandstone? Not enough sandstone. So, Noreen, hello. Cut. Thanks. You could also be researching. Didn't I set you to research? Why I don't understand why you were idle. Something's not quite right. All right, thanks for the smelter. This takes up a lot of power. So, ooh, what is this? Oh, this is from my mod. It's one of the vegetable garden mods where you can plant actual resources. So you can plant plasteel bulb chunks. That's so cool. So you can plant for plasteel and, and gold and jade, I guess, silver, uranium, steel. That's that's really neat. I guess that's why I installed it because I thought it was neat. <laughs> I just totally forgot. Um, yeah. So smelt metal from slag. I'm going to turn this off. I know I just built it, and I was just saying like, oh, we can smelt all the slag and make some steel out of it. Um, but it does take up a ton of power, and we are obviously running out of power. <laughs> Our lights keep flickering. So I'm going to turn it off for now, and then whenever we get a um, a mech cluster. Um, that's gonna give us a lot of slag, and then we can go ahead and, and smelt that. Um, excuse me, Ligzel, are you, are you eating Jally's lavish meal? What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my lord, all right, you are a commoner, mister, and so, so are you, Agatha, you are both commoners. Oh my god, I can't believe I let that happen. I'm so sorry, Jally. It looks like everyone's time is being spent <laughs> refueling the wall lamps that I that I added because they're so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna put those down for a lot of people. So refuel, Agatha, you don't have to do that. I'm gonna turn it down to three even. Noreen, yeah, you're my hauler. You, you can refuel. Norman, no. Ligzel, I actually want you to focus on training those those animals that I picked out, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> Um, you can actually be a two for refueling. Oh my god, what is this? I got an animal transport pod crash notification. A crate with a, a decay drake called Swampy. <laughs> That's adorable. But he... 
<laughs> oh my god, it's so scary! What are you? What do you do? Um, okay, so decay drakes are large winged flightless lizards that inhabit places with an abundance of vegetation. Even though the drakes are carnivorous, they release a nauseous cocktail of volatile pheromones that quickly accelerates the rotting process of plants, turning vegetation around them into mounds of fermented organic matter. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? They will consume these over hunting for fresh meat and usually get incredibly drunk in the process. Hmm. Interestingly, interestingly, <laughs> the creature has four separate livers in order to process the huge amounts of alcohol. Jealous. It is unclear whether the, the drakes are natural creatures or genetic experiments. They aren't easy to domesticate, but if they can be coerced to accept humans, they might be useful hunting companions. Especially if provided with alcohol. Um, humans, um, so they, we don't want to eat the rotting vegetation. I have no idea. I've never seen one of these guys before. Um, it's probably part of one of the vanilla mods that I added. Let's save them. Let's do it. Um, Norman, you're using the toilet. Well, when you're done, please rescue Swampy. <laughs> Our DK Drake. That's terrifying. Oh my god, I almost screamed when I saw it. <laughs> What's wrong, Luke? Why are you freaking out? Oh, you're hungry. Well, eat. I'm so sorry about your dog. I'm still sorry about that. Need research project. Is something broken that it's not researching? Should I not be using this mod, maybe? One sec, you guys. I'm going to... Because it says need research project. I have research up here, but it is it is a mod. So I'm going to I'm going to quickly... Okay, I'm back. So I got rid of research pal. Oh my god, look at this mess. Look at this mess up here. From all of my mods. Um, but I'm going to go see if it worked in getting... Um, this need research, yeah. So the need research project notification did go away. What a mess. This is going to be a nightmare to go through. Um, yeah, about that. <laughs> um, I'll see what I can do after this episode. If I can, uh, maybe maybe there's the other, the other research mod. And I'm so sad about this unicorn. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. That would have been really cool. <gasps> Rescued animal joins. Is that Swampy? Now we have, <laughs> we have Darcy, our pig, and Swampy, our DK Drake. Yes. Should I be setting them to haul? Yeah. Why not? We now we now we have Ligzol who can actually do that for us. Thank you, Ligzol. Look how slow he. This is at times four speed. This this is him cutting a plant. Thanks, Ligzol. Don't you have like animals that you can be taming for me? Maybe you already did that, and I, I, and I missed it. Ligzel has contracted a common ailment of restless. I'm, I'm sorry, you're restless, my dude. Um, that's from the common ailments mod. Again, I have way too many mods. Um, way too many mods for the default research screen. Anyway, I'll have to figure that out later. That, that's tomorrow's problem. Ligzel, you started a social fight with Agatha. Why? What happened? Um, let's see here. Agatha made fun of <laughs> Ligzel's nephew's lovers. <laughs> That's not nice, Agatha. That's not nice. Uh, but yeah. All right. So they, they, yeah. All right. You guys do you. You do you. Um, shoot. There's so much that I want to do. But so much that's already queued up that I don't know if I should bog down their their queue, if you will. So I really want to make our hospital because this hospital, I mean, it's it's OK, but having a double bed in the hospital is kind of odd. Um, I guess what I could do is quickly just move this out and build another wooden bed. But I'm using this wood for a bunch of other things and one colonist idol. Uh, well, Noreen, you could research. You could, uh, yeah, make some stone um you're you're washing agatha that's fine all right so we got this done let's let's add a little fill there let's put a steel trap actually we need what we need to do is add a door um so let me cancel that right quick um 
because we won't be able to re uh, rearm these spike traps uh, if they're all in a row here. We need to add a door. So I'm going to add a granite door, I guess, here. So then we can add another spike trap there. And then I can add another door here. And then we can add a spike trap there. That works. So that uh, you can go through this door and fix this one and this one. Go through this door to fix this one and this one. If there's no doors, they'll just walk right on through and get themselves killed. <laughs> it's a mess. Norman mining in the dark. I should probably put a light in here. Um, I would put in one of these fancy lights because it just needs to be refueled, but we're running out of wood. So maybe that's not such a good idea. We're running out of wood and we're running out of power. Um, it would be great if someone could start researching. I don't know why, why they're not. Um, and there's no way that I can tell them to research. Not assigned to researching. Noreen, you're not, you're, you're not. When did that happen? That's insane. I definitely had you set to researching. Maybe I didn't. All right, that's fair. That's fair. That's on me. That's on me, you guys. Liza, you're still not recruited yet. <laughs> you still have 10.9 recruitment. Or resistance, rather. That's... All right. All right. You do you, I guess. Here I am yelling that Noreen doesn't have anything to do when I didn't even have her set to research. I feel bad. I don't feel that bad, but I do feel bad. She could have at least been stone cutting, though. I mean, it's not all on me. <laughs> or, yeah, my, or hauling all of these things. Like, look, she's idle. She could be hauling all of these. I don't know what's wrong. This is driving me nuts. Luke is idle. You could be hauling all of these, right? This this allows steel. Let me s double check, I guess, because I've been... Yeah, raw resources, steel. I don't know why you guys are idle. That's driving me nuts. It's probably a mod that I have, or because I have way too many mods. Still, I'm a little frustrated. I guess I can just set them manually to, to haul those things. Was there this much blood here before? Maybe. Oh, it's from the social fight, I think, yeah. No acceptable food for Jally. That's probably because we don't have any power to make the food. Um, because we do have corn and unicorn meat. Oh no, why did I click on that one? Um, I think that's all she needs is a, yeah, a vegetarian and a meat product. Um, so who's my cook, Luke? Oh yeah, because there's no power. Um, there we go. Look, power. Luke, quickly, quickly cook, please. Now, she will still eat the food, um, but she will be very unhappy about it. Thank you, Luke. Yeah, so we, we had food. I guess I don't know why you weren't cooking. You were wardening. Let me turn you off warden, and same with Agatha and Noreen, so that only Ligzol is wardening, even though he's sick right now. Is that social fight? Look, you're fine. Wow, look at all this insect chitin we're getting in night leather. Someone should be hauling this, and that should be Noreen. Noreen! <laughs> you know, I was just saying how much I missed you, uh, but there's so much that needs to be hauled. What are you doing? Well, all of these ones, but that, that shouldn't take you too long. Um, butchering and brewing, that's fine. But then your next one is hauling, besides plant cutting. Maybe, maybe you're busy plant cutting. I'll have to check, I guess. All right, this is a mess. We're running out of power. Luke is too busy cooking, I guess, to research. So I need I need someone to research. Um, here, Noreen, you will cook. Luke, you will not cook anymore. You are set to number one research. That is what you will do forever. <laughs> uh, who else can research? That is um, Agatha. You will not butcher or brew. You can construct. That's that's fine. No, we have Jolly to construct. I'll put you down. You can research if Luke is not researching. Norman, I'm going to keep you up at Harvest and Grow because I think that's important. Same with plant cutting and tailoring, I guess. Did we ever make those hard hats? I wasn't paying attention. Maybe not because we haven't had power uh, to run uh, the tailoring bench. Yeah, no, we still have we still have gloves to make and we have our hard hats still in the queue there. Um, okay, 
I think this will work. I think Luke should start researching after this. The research table does not take any power because it's the basic, the simple research bench. Um, but having it, the wall light flicker is going to take some time. Agatha, thank you. Thank you. You know what I just realized is that Agatha is a night owl. We can have research going 24-7 now. Agatha researches at night and Luke researches during the day. This is going to be great. In theory. <laughs> Okay, so the throne room is coming along. Look how pretty it is with the turquoise. Yay! Okay, so eventually we're gonna have carpet. Um, but I'm wondering if I should... I'll just put in um, what I need to put in there for now. So the furniture, a throne. Um, can we make it out of turquoise? No, that's too bad. Chalcedony? No. I'll make it out of granite for now because we do have a lot of granite stones. Uh, put it right in the middle there, and I think it needs two brazzers, so, uh, steel, I guess? We really don't have any turquoise. We have turquoise for one. How much turquoise do we have? 70, that's too bad. We can't make two. Um, and then only 26 chalcedony. There's probably turquoise around here that I'd be able to find. Oh, hello, pretties. Oh, they're the Aves again. And more uh, ground runners if they're not the same ones from before. Um, but anyway, the, the throne room. Uh, yeah, so the braziers, we'll just make it out of steel for now. Um, or granite again. Put it like that. And then what I want to do is move these columns in. And I know we'll actually need these columns when she is... Um, hello? Okay. Uh, when she is a little higher up in rank. So this is pretty good. Uh, so yeah, reinstall. Let me do this real quick. Okay. Hopefully we get that done quickly. And I should put in lights, but I guess these these are gonna act as lights. Um, hopefully they do these first <laughs> so they can see what they're doing um, everywhere else. We're gonna need these hauled out. Um, the stone chunks, get these out of here. I'm also going to get rid of the plan. Yes, we got a ground runner. So cute. I'm so excited. Uh, ground runner one. Ground runner two. Yay. All right. Uh, yes, we definitely need these guys to uh, learn how to haul because I read that um, that's the only way they will mine. The weather controller is no longer changing the weather, so maybe the sun will come out. It won't be so foggy anymore. Uh, or it can stay foggy. That's fine, too. Um... Things are looking up, you guys. We got our throne room almost done. Yep. <laughs> Look at my ground runners just walking around. I'm so excited about them. Uh, let me move them to animals. Do you think they can go outside? Oh, Lisa, you poor, you poor soul. Um, but anyway, I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep them inside. Um, and then they can just mine uh, in the base. So ground runners, your animals inside. A uh, swampy, I think you're safe enough to go outside. That's fine. And this is actually good. So hopefully a uh, swampy, you will not be decaying my vegetation here. You'll just be decaying everything else on the map. <laughs> if it ends up being a problem, um, I might I might end up selling him maybe. And hopefully no one is bonded to him at that point. Liza, Liza. You all right? Oh, you're gonna, nope. <laughs> nope. Um. Let's see here, Jally. You can you can run down here. Who else? Luke. You can you can run over here. Let's let's stop him. Don't don't kill him though. We like Liza. We want to be friends with Liza. Okay, good. Safe. Uh, Luke, you can capture Liza. Um. Oh shoot. Uh, Jally, you need to make this wooden door. This happened last time, and I got really annoyed <laughs> about it. Uh, so hopefully this doesn't take as long as it did then. Yep. Okay. Good. Thank you, Luke. Capture. And then I think you you will also tend to him. Are you going to be okay? Bleeding on 20 hours. You're fine. You're fine. Did you lose any limbs? Nope. You're good. And look, your tobacco addiction and your psychite addiction is going away. 84%, 82%. Maybe by the... No, Luke, Luke, insulting spree? Really? <laughs> now <laughs> that's fine all right anyway maybe by the time you are recruited you will not have these uh addictions but look we got a chameleon yak that's neat let's set him to inside too inside oh her and she's pregnant already my goodness 
Uh, yeah, animals inside and ground runner. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> not paying attention. We have so many animals now. This is great. At some point, we're going to have to go in the manager and manage um, all of these guys so that they do not go nuts taking over our colony. Um, poor Agatha. Luke, leave her alone. She's just trying to study for me so I can get some power in this in this zone. Because you're tired, go to bed. The final straw was tired. Oh, go to sleep. No. Now Noreen has to be insulted. Research request opportunity. Okay. I think this is what I talked about a few episodes ago. You are allowed to send a researcher to uh, this place. Um, and if they're a good enough researcher, then th you will be rewarded with... Um, faction standing and um, intellect points or something like that. Um, I would bring Luke, but he's going nuts. So let me see here. <laughs> Liza, are you really incapacitated? That's funny. Um, let me just see what, how long it'll take with um, Agatha. And yeah, no one is able to be ridden yet. 1.4 days, that's not too bad. Um, and really all they do is go there and then come back. So maybe I'll do that with Luke once he snaps out of it because I think he's my best researcher. Um, whoopsie. Um, yeah, Luke followed by Agatha. So it's a it's an 11 to 5. Okay, so that's pretty significant. So yeah, once Luke feels better, I'm going to send him out that way. An infection? Liza? Really? <laughs> that's too bad. Um, Noreen, Noreen, Noreen. Yes, thank you. 10 to Liza. Ooh, and it's in his torso. Oh, that's too bad. All right, immunity 4%, infection 5%, immunity 6 Yeah, okay, so it's close right now, but I think you'll be all right. 8 to 7, yeah. You'll be okay. Immunity is going faster than the infection. Uh, fingers crossed. I know it was really close with Norman um, a few days ago. Colonist needs- what is happening? Really? Luke and Agatha? Oh, because Luke was on a crazy insulting spree. That makes sense. Luke, how are you doing? Are you gonna get a catharsis at least? Maybe? Come on. <laughs> no, you have collapsed. You can go to sleep, my dude. Um, restrict. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make um, a restriction called do anything. And what this will do, oh, I was on base this whole time, silly me. Um, anyway, what this will do is set it to, they can do whatever they want. I'm gonna let them do whatever they want. Um, so let me fix this. So this is unrestricted. Shoot, oh, I'm gonna have to fix this. So I think it was 11 to 18, and then recreation, and then sleepy time. Yeah, that's my fault. It's because I haven't, um, Oops, <laughs> work, work time. Uh, it's because I haven't been playing recently. I had a, the weekend off and I have no idea what's going on. Base, okay, base, and then do anything is unrestricted. Okay, safe. Um, so Luke, I'm gonna wake you up, hopefully. Okay, you're gonna eat and then hopefully go to bed, my man, you poor thing. Get all our animals. I gotta make sure that they're all set to the right zone. Animals inside, please. Maybe I'll make a farm for them. Um, sometimes I'll make just one little square zone and then plant. Are you, you're swampy, you're so cool. <laughs> you're not at all what you looked like before on your back dying. And here's all your, uh, I guess I can't click them. I guess your, your decay that you're just leaving around. That's, that's pretty neat, I appreciate that. Um, okay, almost done, almost done, almost done. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Eight work left. Dally, what are you doing? Oh, yes, thank you, my girl. <gasps> well, need throne room? Hello. Um, oh, I have to assign her to it. Assign. Undignified. Oh, it needs to be floored. Oh my god, my life right now. Okay, not a problem. We will floor it. I wanted to floor it with carpet. We need some geothermal power, then we need microelectronics, then carpet. In fact, maybe I should start building or growing a lot more cotton because we're going to need a lot of carpet uh, for what I planned for her. So what's this? Apparel score. Oh, huh, okay. Um, I'll look at that later. Let's turn on the fertility overlay and just build 
cotton. I keep saying build cotton. Just grow cotton <laughs> in this area. It's just gonna be cotton for now. And later on, um, I was saying this before, but we can make this an indoor greenhouse um, once we have enough power. <laughs> We need to get our power under control and hopefully this geothermal uh, power is going to kick in soon. Should I make the whole thing cotton? Maybe. Maybe I should because we're going to be making a lot of carpet. Um, yeah, um, and I'm gonna leave open the geothermal vent. Okay, all right, yep, and then this is all cotton, please. Thank you. Turn that off. All right, and with that, I think I'm going to end the episode. So we're ending it on a very boring note. Planting cotton. Yay, fun. Um, not too much happened this episode. I didn't get any quests. I did get the research opportunity, but I'm going to wait for Luke to cheer up a little bit. Liza is still going nuts in my prison, but eventually he will start feeling better and he's not going to have these addictions. So that's going to be really nice to have. Um, our throne room is almost done. I just need to carpet it. And what else did we do this episode? Not much. I think I just fixed things. Um, fix the research, fix their clothes, fix their food restrictions. Um, Agatha, I feel, has been injured for more than half of the episode. Uh, but we did get swampy. We did get this cutie pie. Um, so yeah, all right. I think, yeah, I'm going to end it. Um, not too exciting, but also Daylight Savings has thrown me off and I have no idea what time it is or what I'm doing with my life. So I think this is a good opportunity to stop right now. So I will um, see you guys later. Thanks for watching.